Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, this is the video coming after the HD skin tutorial. I'm glad you guys really liked that video. Also, you're liking it because, you know, you finally get to learn how to do HD skins. Well, this video is a little bit different. It's it's the same, it's the same concept. We're gonna be learning how to put the skin into your game. You have to have a bunch of requirements to be able to have it in-game, which are mods. First, you have to have Forge 1.12.2. That's the Forge update that is the same version as the More Player Models mod. Then you need to get the More Player Models mod. You have to have it in the 1.12.2 version. That version is the, is the most updated and it works perfectly with the skins and the cinematics and everything. Without further ado, I'll go into the video and I'll show you guys how to download mods and then I'll show you how to put them into your game. Also remember to tag your skins, all your skins that you make, with the hashtag MCHDSkins or hashtag HDSkins. I want to see your guys' skins and your creations. Also you can share them to me on my Discord server, the link is in my bio. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and have fun! First, you're going to go ahead and type in more player models 1.12.2. I'll have a link in the description uh, to the actual website where you get them, so you guys don't have to worry about typing this in, but if you don't want to go into the link, then I'll have it where you can see where I type it in. So you're going to go to this, um, this more player models. They do have a game version for 1.14.4. I haven't tried that out yet, so the best is the 1.12.2. So you're going to go to Files. I'm going to scroll down, and you're going to find the 1.12.2 game file. Then you're going to hit the download button right here. Make sure it's the newest one, the December 5th, uh, December 5th, 19. Make sure you have the newest one. You're going to hit download, and then it's going to download here, and it's going to pop up in your corner down here. There we go, and make sure, this is not going to harm your computer, so make sure you hit keep. There you go, your mod's right there. Also, we're going to download Forge. So, Minecraft's Forge, so type up Forge MC, and there's going to be this link right here. And here's where you download your forges for all of your games. So, all, all you do is just go to the version 1.12.2, and then click installer. Download the latest installer. Make sure you click that. It's going to do the same thing where it pops down here and you're going to hit keep. Then when you're in your files, you're going to go to your downloads and your mods are going to be right there. For the forge, you're going to double click on the forge and a thing's going to pop up. It should be checkmarked on install client. You're going to click the install client little thing. You're going to hit OK and it should install into your launcher. The mod, all you're going to do is going to go to your .minecraft folder. Um, you can search up how to go to your .minecraft folder. You usually just go to your uh, search bar on your file folder and click uh, do percentage app data percentage. You're going to go to your roaming folder and then you're going to go to your .minecraft folder. Once you're there, if you don't have it already, you're going to create a new folder that's named mods. No caps, no spaces, mods. You're going to go in and you're going to put your more player models mod already in there. I have a bunch of mods already in here because I use them constantly on that world that you saw. So yeah, you're going to paste your more player models mod into there. Now once you have that, you're going to open your launcher. Once you have your launcher open, you're going to go to installations. I already have all of my installations there, but we're going to create a new one just for this tutorial. You're going to hit new. You're going to create whatever picture. We'll do a lapis block. You're going to name it. Or player models, tutorial, or whatever you want to, to have it as. Then you're going to go to version. You're going to scroll down until you find the forge. If not, then you're going to have to reinstall it like I told you before. Just double click on the little icon and then install client. Just do that again. You're going to click on the forge that it downloaded as. So right now it says release 1.12.2 forge 1423528854. That's my version that I have currently. If it says a different version, you are still completely fine. You're going to leave that alone. If you want, you can go to more options. Since this is a pack that has mods, uh, go to your like computer settings and know how much um, RAM and space you have on your computer so you can be able to change this. 
Right now it only has 2 gigabytes of RAM that are put into your Minecraft launcher to run your game. If you want to make that bigger, do half or a third of the size of your normal computer space and RAM. Uh, I think I have about 32 space of RAM, so I do like 8 just in case, so we're just gonna do eight or six. Six is like the least that I usually do. Uh, and then we're gonna go over and we're gonna hit create. After that, it should be on here, right there. There we go, and we're gonna go back to play. You're gonna make sure that it's right there. You're gonna click it and then you're gonna hit play and run your game. All right, now that you guys are in game, this is the easy part, all right? You're gonna hit F12. I already have all of my skins loaded in. Not all of them, but most of them. I do recommend having a default um, like this. I use an exclamation point so it stays on the top because once you type them in they all lay out by themselves. I recommend having a default so you always have a place to change into your skin. Like this, you just always can change into your normal default skin. And then like you can always put in your skins here. Uh, a bunch of these are mine already, like I've already put them in, stuff like that. Um, so what you're gonna do, you're just gonna hit F12, we're gonna hit new. And I'm gonna do a tutorial, so I'm just gonna do exclamation point tutorial. I don't know if I spelled that right, but it's fine. Tutorial. All of this, like orc, female, male, wolf, these are just like models that have actual um, different shapes to your model. We're just gonna do the normal, because that's that's what the, we're gonna do. Hit done, and your tutorial should be right, right there. It should be right there. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go and hit edit. And go to options and I'm gonna already get rid of the skin that's already in there because it's this one we're gonna go to blank skin blank skin right there so now what you're gonna do you're either going to use a website named Imgur or you're gonna use a website named discord which is you know everyone uses discord so for Imgur you're gonna type in Imgur I'll also have it on your on the description okay so now that we're in Imgur uh, you can go and hit choose photo and go find your skin. I'm gonna quickly go find the Tommy in it skin from the last video. And there might be this little ad thing that pops up, just wait until it completes. Once your photo is just like this, don't post it or anything like that. Uh, if you want, you can delete it after you're done because you don't want anyone to have access to your skin. So just afterwards, just click, right click, and hit open image in new tab. That will bring up a new tab up here. Your image will be right here. Don't worry about the background being all white. That's still transparent. Click the link. Wait until it's all highlighted. Control C or like copy it. Make sure you copy that link. Go back into your Minecraft game. Click in this little skin URL. Then you're going to control V, which pastes it. You're going to paste it in there and you're going to click out. Click out in this abyss. And voila, your skin should be in. Don't click this button right here. This button will crash your game. It does something stupid and weird so just don't worry about that um so yeah go back out uh if you want to config to reload your skins then you can do that but then hit escape and voila your skin is now in game and everyone can be able to see it including yourself and now there's a few things to this mod that I do want to show off because they're they're pretty fun they're pretty fun things uh they're pretty cool I enjoy them a lot so I will go ahead and show you these things when you hit F12 and you go to edit, uh, you can change your your entity. You can change what uh, creature you are, which is kind of cool. You know, you get to be a, ra a rabbit, a polar bear, uh, a wasp, which is part of the mod that I have, a witch, wither. You can you can be anything that you want. You know, you can turn into anything. I know there is a couple things like NPC. There's an NPC crystal, dragon, which is like sitting. There's a golem. You can even be a My Little Pony, and if you find a My Little Pony skin, you can actually change the skin to this My Little Pony right here, which is kind of cool. There's also an NPC slime. So yeah, there's a bunch of different NPCs that you can turn into. Um, I don't know what that one is, but yeah, you can turn into like NPCs and stuff, which is pretty kind of cool. You can also reset. Scale, this allows you to like scale the head. Uh, make his head bigger. You could also uh, make him like extremely tall. So like let's make his his legs thick and you can make him really tall or you can make him like really short Which is kind of fun to mess around with. Uh, it's it's always fun to mess around with these kinds of things. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, go ahead and mess around with those things. Parts, um, these adds in like other things. Like you can also add in uh, wings, which is kind of cool. This is like the avian Tommy in it. You can add in different wings. Uh, you can add like tails, snout, skirt. You can have particles going off and stuff like that. You can have like different types of legs. Snake legs, horse legs, all of that stuff. You could also have um, eyes. If your character or skin doesn't have eyes on your skin, you can turn on eyes and they will automatically blink, which is kind of cool. They blink every once in a while. And yeah, you guys can just mess around with this kind of stuff. Um, this config button right here, this allows you to go in here. You can show your back item. That means an item can show up on your back, show particles, uh, solid, head layer you can turn that off or anything like that you can mess around with these um edit buttons you can switch uh buttons on your keyboard to allow you to sit crawl sleep hug dance uh let me currently switch my keys because i know they're uh all switched off i usually have mine to numpad numbers because it's the easiest and it won't be in the way so yeah you can mess around with these things see you can sit lay down you can hug you can dance and other stuff like that. So yeah, go have fun with it. And I hope uh, I hope this tutorial helped out a lot with you guys. I hope it really did work. Um, again, if Tommy in it sees this, please let me know if you want to use these skins in your SMP or in a video or something like that. Please let me know. I also want to make one for Filza, Quackity, uh, Wilbur, uh, Slimesicle, I definitely want to make skins for them. So hopefully I can make skins for them and they can see this. And if they do see this, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Holy crap, you're seeing my video. Ah! Anyway, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you to see your guys' skins on the hashtags that uh, we have been using. I hope you guys have a spectacular day and have a wonderful time with the skins. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for the support that you've given me. Bye, everyone.